Hello Summoners and Summonettes, it's Gordon here and today I'm bringing you a Vayne ADC game. So as always, let's go ahead and get right on into it. Picking up the D-Blade Health Potion as well as Warden Totem. Hi, I'm Gordon, go have fun coming out. And honestly, I just felt like playing some Vayne. I don't know why, I just really want to make some flashy plays hopefully. So hopefully we'll have a good game here. And honestly, I'm just procrastinating on my speech even more. I have a five to seven minute speech in Spanish tomorrow, and I've typed one paragraph so far. So, we're doing good. And it's already like 11 at night, so probably going to be up all night. But we'll go ahead and get back on track here. Going in on the Jarvan here. Ooh, going to dodge out. Oh my. I didn't even realize we had Darius on our team. So we get the apprehend there. I don't think he realized that either, and pulls him back in. Yeah, AZ Pickens is right. That's going to be a another health potion for me here, hopefully. I will. I'll help you, brah. Gonna wait on a pot. Just letting him know I'm going to wait for a potion here, and then we can help him. Looks like he's going to start at the golem, so I'll go ahead and start with that tumble, just so we can roll there quicker. Spamming by this potion here, because everyone knows the faster you click, the more money you generate. Kappa. Alright, so lane matchups though, I do have a little bitch with me, and we are against Corky Thresh, so quite a bit of poke both ways. LeBlanc has a lot of poke going into that lane, as well as Corky, and they have people like Vladimir and Jarvan on their team as well, so I'm probably going to end up maxing my Q first, just because I'm going to need to have that mobility that it provides. If you don't really have to do a lot of dodging around, and you can actually make trades with people, most people put two points in their tumble and then they actually just max their silver bolts. But I don't think I can do that this game, so I'll try and put two points up in the W early on and then we're gonna be maxing my Q. Oh god. Almost missed that minion there. But I do have that first blood XP, so we're actually gonna hit level two relatively quickly off the second wave. Should be off of I think two minions instead of all three now. But a perfect six out of six CS right there, so that was beautiful. And once I do hit level 2, I might try and go a little ham on maybe the Thresh or Corky whoever's in front of me. No! Got it. With some silver bolts here. Not go for an all-in with a... Oh, we could go for an all-in here. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and condemn the Thresh into the turret here. Get his flash, actually. And I wasn't planning on... Oh, shit. That was actually a little more. <laughs> I wasn't planning on trying to go for an all-in. Normally, when I hit level 2 on Vayne... If I don't see the opportunity, I just level up W and try and chunk someone. But there, there was actually a fight against the wall, so I took an opportunity right there. And that was an easy condemned stun into the wall there on that Thresh, forcing his flash. So he's got to be careful now that he does not have flash, so that's really awesome. No sudden flash ganks out of the Thresh there. Sorry, that disconnect messed up my mind, my thought process. Our mid laner did DC, but hopefully he'll come back soon. Not that big of an issue. Oh, I missed that. That was that was not that good of a last hit attempt, let me tell you. Gonna hit level 3 though. Nice kill up in the top lane. And now we have all of our abilities, so we are in a good spot to do some work here. And surprisingly, getting a very, very early lead that we did in this lane on Vayne is... Oh, that hurt. Is really, really good for us, just because... You know, Vayne early on normally will get poked down from this Corky, so we're in a pretty commanding position here. Jarvan in the jungle, alright. If I don't see Jarvan, I might have to save my Condemn for when he tries to initiate with his Flag and Drag. So that kind of takes away a little bit of my all-in potential here, I guess we could say. Just because I can't really use it offensively, I'm probably going to have to hold on to it. So I feel like Jarvan's going to be coming here just because we are pretty shoved in. Alright. Oh, I missed this. Yes. Whoa! Okay, she got out, luckily. That was pretty risky out of the whole block there. She got hooked. She could have been in for some trouble. I'm just pushing the Corky off the wave here, trying to make him miss some CS here. You know, just threatening him with my poise here. Got that many in. Let's take a look at the CS count. 14 to 29, so we are just absolutely stomping in that category. Got the second point in my W, and now we're going to be maxing the Q like we said here. Ugh, that was gross. 
All right, so Corky has to see us with this Q, which is really, really good. So he's not utilizing it to poke me out in lane. So that takes away a lot of his uh, trading potential if he's having to use it to actually shove out the wave. Kill in the top lane. So it scores two to one now. Our mid laner is still AFK, unfortunately. Hopefully he will return. I haven't really been able to get a lot of trades here, actually. Normally I try and go a little aggressive, try and get some three silver bolt procs here, but... They're playing pretty far back here. Alright. Yeah, I mean, we're just... Oh, let's not run into that. Free push in here, so it's not too bad. Can't complain, really. Because I will definitely outscale the Corky into the late game, but Corky still scales pretty damn well into that mid game, so... Gotta be mindful of that. But right now, we are just doing a really, really good job at CSing. Pretty much uncontested here. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, we'll go ahead and kill him. Got the Ignite on him, so I knew I didn't have to commit any more than that. I think she actually misclicked Ignite on Thresh. She wanted to do it on Corky, but ends up working out for us, luckily. And I'm gonna... Ooh, late Condemn, but uh, still got the Flash out of LeBlanc, so I think that's all he really wanted. I missed, like, all of that CS. That was beautiful, Connor. Alright, his Q is down. No. Oh, I actually dodged that one. I still, I want to be greedy. I want to go for a kill on this Corky here. I want to make him pay for being so low health. That hit me. Hello? Alright, I should be fine here. It's kind of unfortunate that that happened, but I had to burn my heal. I thought LeBlanc would stay, but she ended up going back. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to have to ask you to back off me. Alright. I still want to do this, man. I still want to do this. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good. <laughs> Got my potion taken. Come here, Corky. Yeah, I didn't think Jarevan had the mana for his combo there. But Thresh does return, so I can't really do anything now. Just gonna try and get some last hits under the turret here. No! Go on the Corky! Alright, he's just gonna run. No way we get that. Alright, so he should be going back. If not, then we'll kill him here with my ultimate, but yeah, he's going back. So I'm going to shove the wave here. Just try and get that, force him under the turret, and miss another wave of CS here. No, got it. Not even close. Alright, so going to get the next wave too. Please help me push. I'm so low on mana, and I'm just a lonely vein. But the luck's going to ward, so... Might not be able to get this shoved as hard as I would want to, because I'd rather it be at the turret right now, making Quirky miss some CS. But, oh well, not too bad nonetheless. Missed some CS, but I really just wanted to shove it, so... 56 to 34, he does come back with a phage and boots. I'm coming back... Do I want to go... Hmm... There's always a question. I know you can do this. I'm gonna try it. I've seen people go just straight up IE rush if you have enough money for it. And you just go crit vein and it catches people off guard so, so, so often because they always think of, you know, vein, oh, all your damage is gonna come in from your silver bolt procs here. But one, I'm not gonna be maxing them this game. And two, I'm just theory crafting right now. I want to see if you can just go regular build vein and go IE into something like static and then go for a BT as well. So that way you just get a ton of damage off your crits here, obviously with that IE, but it's something I've been wanting to try for a while. I do know it is, it's not that out of the meta though, but I've still never played it myself. So pretty excited to give it a try here. So I have the huge power spike of the BF sword here compared to just his phage, so gonna look to make use of that. That was potentially a really scary tumble right in Thresh's face, but luckily he didn't capitalize on it. How did I get an assist? It was off first blood, homie, before you DC'd. Alright, LeBlanc's kinda AFK at the turret. Okay, she's back. Cool. So let's look to be a little aggressive here. We are definitely stronger than them here. So I want to try and make a play on him. Thresh is not 6 as well, so we do have that advantage going for us. I'm gonna go ahead and proc my Silver Bolt there and dodge out on the Thresh Q. So that was pretty good. Chunked him down pretty hard. LeBlanc went really hard though, so she got chunked herself. 
And we will go ahead and get hit by the play, but not too worried about it. Uh, really wanted to try and proc another. Ooh, she almost got grabbed by that Q there. If she did, potentially could have been her downfall and her demise. But sitting pretty full health right now, or pretty much full health. Got a ward in the river, so that'll see Jarvan. Unless he goes over the wall right here, into that bush. And there he is, so. Hello, Jarman. Good ward. But it's gonna be cleared out by his chicken sensors there. His raptor smite. Ooh, she finds a... That's a Jarvan. Alright, I do want to try and turn on this, though. Just because we did... Okay, never mind. He's coming in. Nice, so I mean we chunked down the Thresh for free there, and ooh, nice sidestep on that lantern. Uh-oh. 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 They didn't see me, didn't have a ward in the bush. I got the jump on him there, so that's gonna be a free kill for me on that Thresh. And I just gotta assume that was unseen there by the enemy team. So luckily I was able to pop him with just one auto there, a Q with my ultimate. Didn't have any reaction time there, couldn't flash, couldn't heal, and that's a free kill for me. Whoa, going ham bony, got the tumble damage, she's gonna die to ignite there. Good job, got the heal, and I believe maybe flash, unless he just Valkyrie'd out, but kills all over the map for the team there. 8 to 3 is the overall score. Beautiful stuff. And let's look to get some turret damage here before we go back here. Maybe even the whole turret. We have Cho'Gath in the vicinity as well. So, we do have the protection of that. Who all did we kill? We got Vladimir. Did anyone else die as well? Crazy. Alright, not gonna take the turret just yet. Gonna let it deny another wave of minions, hopefully. But we are in a very, very commanding spot right now. 103 is our score. And we're looking to keep it up. Oh, we do have Cho'Gath here as well, so I guess I'll push onto the turret here. It should die. I do have... Miss Flay there, so I'm fine. Turret does go down. Okay, never mind. We'll leave. We will leave. <laughs> Our level lock left. I don't want to be here anymore. Don't actually have enough, unfortunately, for my IE. Ah. Oh, it connects! Should we go? I don't have ult just yet. I do get grabbed, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my ult now. It is a 3v1, 3 verse 1 in this case. I need to just run, ladies and gentlemen. We're just gonna run. No! Oh! Oh god! Am I out? I think I'm out. Woo! Thank god we ran this way. I think I'm out. I don't think it can hit me anymore. Oh man, that was close. That flash was really, really key though. Flash the Jarvan ultimate there, as well as the Corky Frost bomb. That probably would have killed me. I think I could have. I definitely could have played that team fight or scrap, I guess we'll call it, a lot better there. I kind of. I think I canceled a few auto attacks there, but unfortunately Thresh was the only one who was really low, and it was pretty risky for me to keep going on him there while Quirky would just sit there and hit me, so. It sucks that Cho'Gath actually died really, really fast there. If he had lived a little bit longer, I think we could have potentially come out even with a one-for-one one there, but they do come out with a kill there onto the Cho'Gath, so a little unfortunate. I was able to survive there, so we'll just say word, <laughs> even though it wasn't. Pretty sloppy though, but I managed to make the escape there. So I did go ahead and go back and pick up the pickaxe component of IE, as well as I just went ahead and got boots too. It's still pretty efficient on Vayne, even if you're not going for the Borg build here, just to get that attack speed going with your W here. And obviously, since I don't have summer spells as well, that's gonna come in handy with having the actual physical movement speed on those boots. Ow. By the way, Vayne, I'm sort of not supporting. What are you going full AP? I don't care if you go full AP. <laughs> as long as you buy wards, I don't really care. Just buy some wards every now and then, and you get it. My bad, I was typing you. She got a little chunk down there. Yeah, I mean, I don't care if... You could be AP support Darius. I don't even care. Like, as long as you buy wards or a sightstone, and then you can go full damage, I don't care. But... The only thing that ticks me is the supports that are like, oh, I'm gonna carry, I'll go full damage, but then they still don't buy wards. Like, you have to have wards to win this game here. And I'm certainly not gonna buy too many wards as an ADC. I'll buy some, but I'm not gonna empty my wallet on them. Alright, just kiting back on these minions here. What did we, two kills up in the top lane, damn. 
So I don't have to worry about the J-Man coming to try and gank us. So that means all-out aggression, hopefully, for us in the bot lane. Do I have my ultimate up? I'm gonna ward over the wall at Gromp. Might start hitting him up. I'm gonna try and proc... Nah, it's not gonna happen. I was looking for some autos there to proc that W, but he just kept on running. And that is an Orianna. I do see her. I'm not too worried about her. I mean, like, yeah. Hello. I see you. <laughs> I'm still trying to bait her though, I think we can take her, but I think this is warded. But, nonetheless we are getting free mid turret damage, so either way we can keep playing cat and mouse with her all day, and I wouldn't really mind. We actually did get the whole turret there, so absolutely worth. That's one thing, you don't always have to give away that you know they're there, you can kinda toy with the enemy to go back and forth and waste their time a little bit. Nice, we got dragon as well, so that's a huge spike in AP as well as AD. So first dragon is always really worth, second not so much, the creep pushing power, it's not that big of a deal. Ooh, what are we doing? We're just like, blindly sho- I guess it's not blind shoving, Jarvan's top again. We are just auto shoving this bot lane. Alright, gonna go ahead and proc my W there onto the Thresh, whoever you are. Just cause I knew wasn't really in any trouble here from the enemy team. Zareth come and steal in a CS, you little scumbag. That's one thing I still don't really like, the shields. It obviously it promotes turtling on the T2 turret, but you know, it's pretty damn annoying to siege against. Dodging out on the Theshki there, that is an Oriana. Let's not do that. Jarvan is in mid lane, I'm actually gonna go ahead and rotate mid and see if we can maybe pick him off here. His E is down. Let's just do a little damage to him. Little damage here. Got the knockup nicely down there, and that's a lot of damage to him actually. About a third of his health, so pretty chunked for the next up and coming team fight. I want to wait for my ward to put it in that bush. I'm a little afraid. Okay, she face checks. <laughs> I'm actually going to keep a ward in there though so she can leave. Uh oh, you're all sorts of dead, my friend. I did not even notice he was getting hit up over there. Worth. <laughs> I think he took the chickens, aka raptors. I don't think there's a ward in this bush, honestly. Wow, they got Corky. Nice. So, oh my god, he got both of them. So I'm going to come behind this Oyana here. We'll see what we can do to her. And, alright, alright. She hits me with her shockwave, but I'm going to try and condemn her into the wall. There she goes. She is going to go down here. Got her ignite as well. Not the prettiest thing. I sat on both my summers too. I didn't feel like I needed to use them, and obviously I didn't. But just in case, I knew... There was no possible way I was going to die there with having flash as well as heal. But I was able to just face tank that shockwave and not really worry about it, so that was awesome. Tons of kills for the team though. 14 to 5 overall on 203, not too bad. Got that IE coming at me, but I'm actually going to get this next wave going because it's huge and I want to force it to their turret here. That is a jerk. Alright, I'm going back now. They're not going to let us shove it. Please let God, let me back, man. I just want to back, baby. Alright, I think I can back here, hopefully. So I do have that IE, like I said, and then we'll probably go with the static here. Just because it is a super fun item for a ton of burst. Hmm. I'll sell the mana pot. We'll go with the zeal here. So I'm just going to wait 10 gold here. Do a little dance. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Alright, got the zeal. Let's get out of here. So we are incredibly strong right now, actually, with just this IE. He does have Trinity, so do need to watch out for some decent poke out of him, but as far as all-in goes, we definitely got him in that category. And it looks like, oh, they're not even here, so we're just going to get bot lane shoving real quick, hopefully draw some attention, or that's what I'm going to do at least. On Vayne, I, I play a very boring, you know, side lane push of Vayne, just because to me, it promotes 1v1 skirmishes, which I really like on Vayne, because I think that's one of the most enjoyable aspects of this champion, just the 1v1 outplay potential. So I actually look to create commotion when I split push, which normally you don't want. Normally you want a free lane to push as an ADC. I actually want someone to contest and try and outplay him. But uh, kills all over, what is it overall? A 2 for 3 in favor of us though, so still coming out ahead in these fights and I'm not even there. So I think it's going to be a free turret. I can't even get someone to come at me if they're all dead. So 
a little unfortunate, but we will go ahead and take out this turret. Alright, I will actually focus the turret here, try and keep my minion wave alive so we can push on to that T3. Because I actually just want to keep pushing here. And that is a Thresher in my face. That's a Xerathal. No! Alright, I juked his hook. All I had to do there was juke the hook and I'd live. He did hit the flay, so he got the slow, but uh, did not connect with the Q, so it doesn't really matter in the end. And I'm just going to get this roll in here. We have Libitch off to the side, as well as Xerath. What can we do here, boys? Alright, got Jarvan there as well. Kind of getting engaged on. I'm going to just go on this guy, because no one's here supporting him. But now I'm in trouble, because my team left me. Alright, let's do this, Corky. Oh! Oh! Get over here! <laughs> I want him! And we get him, ladies and gentlemen. I'm dead here, though. I'm, yeah, I can't do anything. I don't have any lifesteal. There's no wall for me to condemn him against. I was all sorts of dead. Oh, the flashes. What was that flash? You're dead? Oh my god, the, those are close. <laughs> I thought that was the real one the whole time. And she's actually dead now, though. Rip. It was nice knowing you. You're dead too. Yeah. Oh! And no way. I didn't know he had barrier. Nice. Damn, that was super nice, actually. So overall, I think uh, one for two. I did get the kill. I definitely suicided for that Corky. I could have left at any point, but I wanted him, man. Both of our summoner spells burnt. I come out with a static ship though, so two items compared to just his one and a half. So I'm looking forward to doing it again here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this red buff that'll definitely keep me on top of the Corky here. Just gonna condemn it against the wall here and we will pin ourselves against the wall to get that Q auto attack reset that everyone knows and loves on vain. Still have no real sustain just because I'm opting for the traditional ADC route just to Bust out the damages there. Corky's up top, so I'm just gonna get this wave going in the bot lane and look to 1v1 again. Or even 2v1, or 1v2, whatever. Yada 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 yada, there's Dragon. I'm gonna definitely like to take that as a team. Don't have too many wards, honestly. That obviously makes your split pushing easier if you have some deep wards, so hopefully we can get some in their jungle. And if I can see it coming, if I know there's more than one member, I'll be able to back off. But if not, I'm pushing in blind, which is pretty stupid, but I'm gonna do it anyways, just cause I'm pretty stupid. But two versus two right now, as far as this lane goes. Got Zareth behind me. And there's a three versus three now with LeBlanc and J4 showing up. I'm gonna try and sneak in this bush, like I did last time. Let's see what we can do here. If I can get the stun on this Corky, I think he dies instantly. No, we're pressing him too hard. I don't want to press. I don't want to press. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oriana shows up. Oh my god, that's a Jarvan. Alright, I am behind the Corky. Oh, we get him against the wall, but he... Okay, he does go down in the end. I'm still dead, though. No! That was so depressing. He got his Valkyrie off still. That's not fair. Could have been so much better if he didn't get that Valk off, just died right away. But I think... Oh, the chain connects! That's gonna be two. The Darius dumpster cleanup. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. The triple nipple coming out for the stereo from Kitty. Well played, well played. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for that Vamp Scepter now. Have some decent sustain on me. <laughs> oh, me so the luck. Obviously, if you could buy the BF, definitely buy the BF, just for some more raw AD. But we are 4-2-4 right now. Having pretty... We're having fun. We're having fun, that's what we call it. Unfortunate team fights with our deaths, but... I'm pretty sure that we got this game in the bags. 14-3 Darius, that is something else. Alright, leaving the big chicken for me, I like it. You are kind, my fellow Zara. Alright, chicken's down, we're full. Let's go ahead and go back bot lane, baby. No, get that ward. No! Now they're gonna know I'm here. Oh! Didn't get it in time. Alright, get out of here, Thresh. Stop his mobies! Oh, he's so fast! 
if I got one auto attack off, he might have died there, just because it would have stopped his movies, and I would have got my passive. I'm gonna drop this deep ward here, though, see if we see Corky come in from the pass. Hello, my friend. Wow, that hit me. Oh, wait, I forgot it's instant now, because laser beams. But no one's here to defend this, surprisingly, so I'm thinking it's gonna be... Oh my... That range is pretty damn long. But I'm thinking it's gonna be a free turret for the most part here. The stun connects, that will probably... Hello? Attack? Dunk him, please. No, oh, I gotta heal. God, that laser beam. I don't even know, I don't know why I wasn't attacking him the whole time. I just ran farther into their base. Gonna look to lifesteal off some waves here though. Please, no, I need lifesteal. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm not even looking for the CS here, I'm just looking for some life. Gonna go ahead and maybe get another wave here. And try and top off here, but I don't think it will be enough. Not bad though, not bad, almost full health. Have our ults still, Corky goes down, Vladimir behind, in the flank. Let's go ahead and kill this guy with the J-Man. No, oh, I couldn't save her. Tried to get the Condemn off there. Ooh, some chunk coming out of both parties there. That boy is actually pretty fed. Yeah, she's got a decent amount of farm on her. But couldn't save the LeBlanc, unfortunately. Got there a little late with my Condemn. And a two for one, I think. Maybe it's two for two. But I think this Darius is about to go to go to dunk town on him. There's one, he's dead, bleeding out. I'm just going top getting a free XP. Wait, what? How did he live? How's he alive? Okay, he died. <laughs> that was a very, very long bleed out. Alright, let's let's watch the fight here. Oh, there's nothing to be nothing. No fighting, I lied. Just gonna get this next wave, maybe even a turret here, because they all jerk their attention towards the bot side. And if not, maybe look to take their red buff here for the consolation prize. Yeah, I'm not actually gonna go for that turret. I don't have vision of them. Alright, cool. So, just gonna try and snag their red buff real quick. Should be able to do this without a problem. And there we go, beautiful. Let's see if. Alt's actually back up soon. Don't have Condemn though, that would have been the kicker. He's just gonna Valk. Yeah. Dang, that is unfortunate that I Valked the red buff there. Had I not, would have been a free kill, more than likely. Still don't think I'm on a ward, so I'm just gonna wait here. Maybe Vladimir shows up. Oh yeah, definitely not on a ward with that ball. Tell me they do not have vision there. What are we... I was hoping Vladimir would try and come in through this pinch here, but it looks like he's just... I think he went back. Oh, found him. Oh well. Oh my god, what are you... <laughs> okay. Hello, goodbye. I, I got like one auto attack off there, I don't even think I did anything. I'm just waiting though. Waiting for Zareth to shove top and then I'll rotate over and get that T2 turret. But for now, we'll see if... Anyone walks out here, which I doubt they will, we're shoving in mid lane. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate and get the free turret here. No contestion out of the enemy team. There we go. And we'll just get the back line. Beautiful. Do have enough for a BF sword, so I do want to go back eventually for that. No! We get sight on me. Ouch. And I eat a big one. Wasn't that tasty. Hello. Let's not get oriented. Alright, I'm just gonna go back now. I'm half health, don't really wanna... I'm on a ward. <laughs> yep, was definitely on a ward there. He was trying to flash pick me off there with a shockwave combo, but was not gonna be one to fall for that. I can't go through this chokehold, it's way too scary for me. Could hit an Oriole, so... Unfortunate, nice idea though, out of theirs to try and bait, but no way was I gonna chase into that. How much is it for, oh, 2,700, 200 off. I might just wait for it, honestly. I think I'll sit the gold. Dragon's up in 10 seconds, can definitely look to get that and provide us some gold here. And we'll clear out the grump as well. Hopefully that'll top us off. All right, got the grumpsters. Ooh. Ooh. Never mind, you're dead. I was gonna look for some cleanup crew here, but no, there's no way he sees me. Oh, he didn't see me. 
No, we didn't get it, ladies and gentlemen. I think we can still maybe get the kill here, though. One more. Okay, we got it. Whew. He actually saw me. He just popped his Oracle's lens there right as I went stealth. I think he was trying to cut a ward, and then he was like, holy shit, there's a vein here. But uh, that condemn was super close to connecting with the Jarvan there. Ends up, didn't need it anyways, though. Gonna go ahead and get us our third dragon, hopefully. Ooh, hello. Not before I take this blue buff, though. Or hopefully take it. There we go. So, I think, yeah, this one gives 5% MS, which is also huge on any AD, obviously. Be able to kite, but just overall, really, really strong. 5% is a ton of movement speed, you guys. So we'll go ahead and knock this out here. What do we go? We go from 397 to 416. That's a lot of movement speed, man. And got that BT now, so we are three items on vein, five, two, and six, not doing too bad. Next up, we can go for that LW. Got the longsword going. And now let's go ahead and look to just team fight. Maybe I'll group up finally and get some action here, but I still, the inner vein in me wants to split push bottom, man. I have both summoner spells as well as my ultimate. Gonna look to get a full BT stack and then maybe do something crazy like dive bot lane 1v1. Ooh, the DFG was popped. Can we get the dunks? Oh, he's gone. There we go. J4 off the map. Let's go ahead and look to pressure. I just want to solo someone, man. I'm not even looking to do what I'm supposed to do and get objectives. I just want to fight someone. Does get connected there with a the grab. Oh, let's not get hit by a play there. Tumbling back, not popping my ult just yet. Taking the one kill and we'll be on and about our way. So still have the all-in potential here. All right, let's go. Let's go for the Corky here. So got behind Corky, gonna go ahead and two-shot him. That damage though, and that should be, that is an ace actually. I don't even think I got a chance to proc my third bolt. I think I crit him twice and he fell off the map. So rip Corky, that hurts. Oh my god, that tumble fail. That hurts, man. Give me some CS. <laughs> that turret is indeed broken. But I'm about to break this J4. No! <laughs> I knew it was coming too, and I was gonna try and bait with my heal. God damn it. I flashed the ult, but the damage still went off. I'm mad. Whoa! Whoa there. Oh no, she daggered the turret! <laughs> LeBlanc play at its finest, as well as my vein play. <laughs> I think I definitely I definitely could have killed him after he ulted there if I had just got the heal off. Whoa! Oh my! Attack speed Cho'Gath, what is this? Yo, you can take him. You can take him! Who's chasing him? Oh, his ladder. No, you can't take him. No way. But I'm gonna go ahead and sell my Deep Blade here for the pickaxe, obviously. Get a lot more AD value out of that. Not enough for my LW just yet. So that'll be nice. Oriana as well as Vlad building some armor and J4 as well. No! Alright, he took his red buff. What? You know, it's not that bad. It, AD attack speed Cho'Gath. I, I can understand. I can understand, man. But at least I still have heal now, I guess, so I can go bottom, even though there's already a down in here there, but I still want to go bottom. I just want a 1v1, man. It's champion. The 1v1 queen. I guess I'll kill ground, get a shield going as well while we wait. I want someone to try and answer these super minions that are pushing. Screw Bannon, man. I want kills. I'm bloodthirsty. Get it? I'm a bloodthirster. Alright, I'm just gonna wait in this little nook again, see if someone walks by. Hopefully it won't be my demise. Vlad's top, that's good to know. Dang it. My prey's in the mid lane, what are you doing? Go bottom. Don't kill him, what the? Come on, man. I'm just sitting here with my D out doing nothing now. Alright, they're all mid lane. I'm just gonna end the game. I'm sad, man. Sad panda. Alright, let's end the game. You guys make me so sad, man. You killed my prey. I just ended the game here. <laughs> See if I care, man. Ugh. Can I get the condemn? No! I was supposed to hit the turret, man. Alright. Blood. Oh my god, Zonius. I'm gonna kill you then. Ugh. What? You cannot escape me. 
Okay, you can kill him. No! I'm actually afraid. No! I hate this game. Black. <laughs> so salty, man. They don't let me do my whole plan. Okay. I suck at this champion, ladies and gentlemen. But that will be two inheads going down. Both their nexus turrets are actually down. We could probably just end the game. Whoa! Misses the chain. Almost got the kill there. Oh, excuse me. Uh oh. Well, there. No way. That was close. That was close. But that will be a one for one. Well, the bitch actually gets away there with a sliver of health. It looks like the game's not over just yet. Maybe I can get my one vs one against Corky. I don't want anyone else, man. I just want Corky. I'm gonna buy another dagger for attack speed here, because why not? What's our crit chance? 45%, not bad. But yeah, I'm still pretty sure I two-shot that Corky in that one team fight, so that was pretty awesome. Let's look to do it again, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely should probably just go mid and end the game up. <laughs> Could have ended the game like 15 minutes ago, but I'm greedy and just look for skirmishes. 21 kills, Jesus. Darius went in this game. <laughs> Still yawning. Pardon me. Gotta stay up all night anyway, so I got a long night ahead of me. But, no summoner spells on me. Got my ultimate though. Gonna look to go bottom here and hopefully find a. Corky here. Eh, he's already chunked, but let's let's see what we can do. No, don't let him live. Let the boy live. Oh my. Okay. Got the flash out of the corksters. This guy's dead. All right, I got my revenge on that thresh. Dang man, still didn't kill a Corky. Vladimir. All right, he's dead. All right, Corky. I'm waiting for you. Or Oriana, other one. I'm waiting for you. Okay, I'll go Ori. Get against the wall. No! Or, fuck that man. <laughs> Get pulled into the fountain. Woo! Fountain MVP. <laughs> Alright, GG. Not a bad game though. I think we just snowballed the lane though. I mean, I don't, I don't even know how. We just got a free lane almost. It got a lot of farm on me, so got big that way. And. A decent amount of skirmishes. No real outplay potential though. Just I was traded one for one or something stupid, but if you like the video, go ahead and throw a like. I'll have all my other social media such as Twitch, Twitter, as well as Facebook in the info box below, as well as in some masteries. And as always guys, I'll see you all next time.